a lot of my viewers are going to know you uh, from Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, you've had a number of roles with Disney. Uh, can you tell us what's been your favorite so far? Um, you know, it was great. I actually worked at Disney and Nickelodeon over the course of almost, God, eight years. Uh, and I, I still have to say Wizards was my absolute favorite. I loved working with Selena. She, to this day, no offense to all my other actor friends, were amazing. Uh, it was absolutely my favorite person to work with. Super easy, super fun. It's always a good time at Wizards. It was always amazing. And now what I've been able to do uh, in, in the last three years, I created uh, my production company, Real String Productions. So I'm getting to make my own films. Uh, the first one we made out in the open came out two Tuesdays ago and we completely sold out at every single store first first documentary in history to sell out in five hours so congratulations pretty good yeah really happy about that so when it comes to your production company what makes you want to produce a movie I, I love I love the idea that you know it's me and my two business partners we have 20 employees and it's like a big sandbox like we get to go and just every Monday morning we pitch our ideas and it's it's we get to be as creative as we can we're you know we're independent so we, we're not dealing with the studio system or you know a bunch of people breathing down our backs it's it's we're making content that we love to make so I love the fact that I can write a movie and it's coming out and we're doing so well you know and, and it's it's not just okay I'm auditioning for something and it's someone else's you know I'm, I'm such a creative guy I love writing I love producing. I love being behind the camera and in front of the camera. So I think just the whole idea of being able to create whatever I want is really the most enticing thing about having a production company. Absolutely. It sounds like a dream. It is. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, can you tell me, um, I heard a little bit about you doing a national tour soon? Yes, actually, we're in the middle of it. Uh, we, we just, uh, we, st we it's, it's in diff three different parts. So we start at the national tour for my film Out in the Open in New York on January 15th. Uh, prior to that, we were at Sundance for a few days uh, uh, doing the rounds over there. We did the East Coast, came back. Right now we're doing the West Coast portion of the tour. And on March 15th, we're actually going down to New Orleans. We'll be from New Orleans all the way down to Miami. So and if people are interested, they could check out outinthopenmovie.com and check the website out. It's pretty cool. It gives you trailers, fun video clips, and links to buy it and everything else. So I, I encourage everyone to check it out. <laughs> and there's so much going on for you right now. I mean, you've got a ton on your plate. Do you know what happens after the tour, or yes. are you just trying to get past that? No, unfortunately. I was scheduled till uh, January of 2014 right now. Yeah, um, we just shot uh, in December, right before the tour started. We, uh, Our company broke seven world records. John Asher directed, who you might know, he directed Diamonds. He directed, he discovered, um, oh, what's her name? Oh, God, he discovered, she She won the Oscar, to Hilary Swank. Discovered Hilary Swank. Uh, his father created Bewitched, and I love this. He's a fabulous director, um, and we did seven world records because we shot the first ever film in one take. It's a comedy, five different locations, driving scenes, stellar cast, Ray Abruzzo, the star of The Sopranos is in it. Uh, I'm in it actually, I got to act in it and produce, that was fun, and, and it was, everybody said we couldn't do it and we did it, so. Uh, That's not easy. No, it's not, and uh, cross your fingers, uh, we have a couple meetings at the studios this week, so we're anticipating it coming out probably in the summer or early fall. So one take was that pre-planned or you oh, just? Oh yeah, yeah. This it took it took months of work. Um, we were it was really it was a total. We created a new process. It's never been done before. So what we did you know we, we, the actors we picked had to be so good and and you you know usually in a typical film situation you know it's you have one scene a day and you kind of memorize it as you go we actually had them in a theater for six weeks beforehand and you had to they had to master it we all had to go through and do it and learn it completely the blocking the lines because it's just sort of like do it's a it's emergence of a play and a traditional film but we did it so <laughs> i mean and it's funny it's a funny movie so i'm really excited for people to check it out and like you said, that's just like being on stage. You know, the show must go on no matter yes, what. And I happened. came from Broadway. I mean, that's what I did as a kid. So it was it was it was easier for me, but it was still nerve wracking. The day of, um, we actually failed three times before we got it right. Like we had to stop three different times. Yeah, but the last chance we had to do it, we got it, and it came out beautifully. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I know. You got to check it out. It'll Absolutely. Be great. <laughs> now I have one more question okay. for you. I try to ask each of my guests. It's um, you seem like a pretty bright person, so I'm excited to hear the answer. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's about your socks. My socks. Yes. Okay. I would like to know what sock choice you made today. Let's see what sock choice. Oh, God, they're boring. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but that's okay. You know what's funny? I had on pink and white stripes yesterday. Literally, I had my stylist is going to kill me if he sees this. He gives me these crazy colored socks. I know. And the gay guy should have. I failed on that one. I'm that's sorry, all right. We'll, we'll let that slide. <laughs> but, you know. 
On a, on a regular basis, they're clearly colorful. Oh my god, it looks like a rainbow vomit when you open up my, my soft drawer. Awesome. And why is that? Why do you choose the colorful ones? You know, I'm, I'm a really bad gay guy because I'm terrible with fashion, so I have an amazing, amazing, amazing stylist, Albert Calles, and he comes to my house and he rips out all the clothes he hates, and then he goes and puts in all the colorful socks. And I like them, you know, it's kind of an expression of, you know, who I am, and I'm very colorful, except today you can't judge me, but um, I was hurrying this morning, I was in a rush. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know, there's something about really goofy socks. I like stripe, like the Wicked Witch socks, I love that stuff. Like that's always fun. The knee highs. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff, thank you so thank much you for your so time. Thank you so much. Really I really nice appreciate you. it. Yep.